So it seems absolutely bananas <laughs> that anybody would decide to train for an Olympic team in the midst of grueling chemotherapy, uh, a double mastectomy, but for me, it was the most obvious choice and one that I knew that I had to do. After being diagnosed, I started hearing the staggering statistics that plague our country. I learned that one in eight women in their lifetime will be diagnosed with breast cancer. I learned that African-American women are 40% more likely than our white woman counterparts to die of this disease. In knowing those statistics, I felt like it was my job to do whatever I could to try to help the situation. So I've been to the Olympics a time or two, <laughs> and in the midst of that, I learned that there is a media conglomerate that follows the Olympics. They care about the stories. They get information and messages out there to the world. And I felt like my best way of disseminating the information as broadly as possible would be to get back on that stage and tell my story. That's why I trained for the Olympics, because I felt in doing so, maybe one woman or man would hear my story and they would get checked for breast cancer. I felt like I was doing my part and my story did not belong to me alone, but belonged to anybody who would ever hear those words, you have cancer.